Some critics call them Franken foods. They might even be on your dinner plate right now, but you have no way of really knowing. We're talking about genetically modified foods. Houston ABC's Trishna Begum joins us uh, with more on that. She introduces us to a bill that could change the way you eat. Trishna. Well, Elisa, I found myself wandering around the newsroom and then found myself in the break room checking out what was in our fridge. So if you're taking a look at your pantry at home right now, if you have any products that have corn syrup or soybean, like some of these spreads and this mayonnaise, well, chances are those products have been genetically modified. And now some lawmakers in the state want you to be aware of that. Walk down the aisle of any grocery store and you're hit with labels like organic, all natural, gluten free. But there's one label you won't see on most foods. I need to know what I'm buying because I've been sick. Rebecca Rice had cancer and she says she worries genetically modified foods could cause her long term health problems. I would actually plant those plants. In the she ground. buys all organic even grows her own produce on her farm. It has not been adequately studied, but until it is adequately studied, it should be labeled. Genetically modified foods are made from crops that have specific changes made to their DNA to make them grow bigger, faster, and to resist disease. So that they can withstand, they can live through incredibly toxic levels of herbicide application. And that worries Rebecca. So New York Assembly member Linda Rosenthal wants people like Rebecca and you to know what you're getting when you check out at the grocery store. I don't want to find out years down the road that GMOs were dangerous. Rosenthal is reintroducing legislation in the state that would require all food products in New York to have a GMO label. But critics in the food industry aren't buying into the bill, saying the cost would be passed down to consumers. That it would cost the average family of four $500 a year. So are GMOs safe? Well, David Carpenter with U Albany School of Public Health says there's no evidence to suggest GMOs cause long term health problems. I think people are nervous about technology. And as Rosenthal gets ready to bring up the bill in session, she only has one question for the food industry. They are spending millions upon millions to hide whether the products are contain GMOs. Or my question is, what are you hiding? What are you afraid of? Now, if you're checking your pantry right now, like I checked our vending machine and some of the things that we found here in the break room, uh, some of the junk food that we really have here in the newsroom, food and agricultural experts say 80% of this food stocked on grocery shelves and the things that you buy do have GMOs in them. And experts say if you want to steer clear of them, then look for the labels like GMO free or all natural. Reporting live from our break room, I'm Trishna Begum for News 10 ABC.